doing this week. I hope you've had a good week. Um, I didn't have a very busy week this week, which is a change from what's been happening over the last few months. The last few months have been really busy, which is kind of different for me. I'm not used to busy things. But this week was not too bad. Uh, I did a Dutch lesson on Wednesday, which was always, they're always fun. Uh, I, we were reading stuff from the Telegraph again, and we were translating that. I, I'm having difficulty, guys, with translation of Dutch to English. I can, um, I can do it, sort of, but it always comes out in backwards English every time I do it. So I'm finding that kind of part of my Dutch lessons really difficult right now. And I kind of feel like I suck. But I was told that I didn't suck, so I guess I should believe the people who told me, right? Yeah, right. On Thursday, I went to my mother. Uh, oh, no, that's a lie. I went to my sister first, and we had dinner there. I was with my sister, my nieces, and my nephew, and my brother-in-law. And we all ate dinner together. My brother-in-law cooked a really nice sausage casserole which I totally enjoy. He made mashed potato with it, and I like sausage casserole when it has mashed potato over the top or underneath. Mm, making myself hungry here. Uh, we had that, and my sister was playing with my new phone, which, for those of you who don't know, is a HTC. It's actually a HTC Desire which is a really cool phone. I only have one grumble. Oh, okay, there's a lie there again. I have two grumbles with this phone. One of them, which I don't know... Wait, I have to unlock it first. One of them, which I'm not sure... Oh, okay, it's offering me a system update, so I can show you. Um, is that the text on this phone is super, super tiny. Uh, I know that it's not in good focus with this webcam, but believe me, it's minuscule text. It's like I can read 12 if you like open WordPad or Notepad or something like that and set your text size to size 12. I can read that, but this is smaller than that. This is smaller than size 10 even. And I'm like severely visually impaired, so that is one problem with that. Now, that problem leads on to another problem. If I don't want, want to read this phone, I have to use this, which is a little um, handheld magnifier. It has a really strong 15 times magnification, but you have to basically sit it on the screen of the phone, which on this phone you can't do because it's super touch sensitive. So you have to sit it and be careful that you don't tap the phone with the bottom of the magnifier and then obviously you look through it like that and then I end up tapping buttons that I didn't want to tap so yeah I like the phone but that's my only grumble with it but my sister spent the evening playing with it and figured out a few things for me one of which was that we could make it talk so that helps because it now reads text messages and um, emails and other nice things for me, which is cool. Uh, we figured something else out as well, and I don't remember what it was. Oh yes, I do. It was uh, the call answer system on there. As I was uh, having phone calls come to my phone and I was picking it up, just literally picking it up off the desk, I was um, automatically getting my calls answered for me, even if I didn't want to answer them. So we fixed that too. So I'm happy that she got to play with it. Because it's better for me now. Yippee! Uh, Thursday evening after dinner, I went to my mum's. And um, I stayed there for the evening. Uh, which was because on Friday morning we wanted to go to the store and go shopping. We actually went to Walmart, which... I'm sure some of you guys follow the Clash Rock 09. Uh, I watch his vlogs quite a lot, and he has mentioned before that he has been to Asta, which is uh, our English version of Walmart. It is actually owned by the Walmart family. So, when I talk to all my American friends, I say, I went to Walmart today. But I didn't at all. I went to, to Asta. 
uh, what we did, what did we buy there? Oh, we bought some things that I can't tell you about because they were last minute Christmas presents. Have to be quiet. <laughs> can't tell you. Uh, what else did I buy from there? Oh, I got Shrek on DVD. Shrek, his last, their last, um, their last movie, last production, last part of the thing. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Uh, what's it called? Happily Ever After. I got that, which is really cool because it was cheap and it turned out to be a really good movie. So we um, came home from the store after buying all these Christmas presents that we needed to buy and after dinner we watched the movie. Uh, Saturday morning, which is it was this morning, um, I came home. I had to call my brother-in-law to bring me home because it's snowing outside. We have already like six inches of snow outside, which is a lot of snow. I hate snow, but I actually got help to stand up and walk in it today. I was literally walking just from the car outside of my house to my front door, but it was awesome because I got to walk in the snow. And I haven't walked in the snow for years. So I really appreciated being able to do that, even if it was just a few steps from the uh, from the car to the front door. But basically, that's it. That was my week. I really didn't do much. It was a nice week, though. It was fun. I liked the the fun shopping, and I liked the fun Dutch lesson. I also did another Dutch lesson today, which was fun again, but a little sad at the same time because it was the last one of the year. Um, excuse me, I'm not going to be able to get another one until January, I don't think. So, yeah, a little bit sad because I always enjoy them. But it's so cool that my friend gives all the time that we have during the week to give the lessons. And I'm sure she appreciates the vacation time as much as I do, really. It's nice to have vacation time. I don't have to think. That's a lie. I go to Dutch chat rooms every day and I go to <laughs> and I have work to do on my own site every day. I'm not having to think in Dutch, that's a complete lie. Yeah, I have to think in Dutch every day. So anyway guys, I wanted to spend a little bit of today's vlog telling you a little bit about myself. Basically because I don't normally sit here at a webcam and do these kind of vlogs. The videos that I normally upload are um keyboard covers, but for a while I haven't been able to do that very well because, <clears throat> excuse me, because I don't have a brilliant working camera, so I've been making them, I've been making some recordings on mp3s and then I was adding text to them and then you know what I had been doing during the week, but that became a real pain in the butt to edit and some of my subscribers didn't like it, which I can totally understand because I really didn't like editing it. So, you get to know me personally. Do I have to get close up and personal with you? Do I? Do I? Oh, maybe that's scaring you. I should move away from the webcam. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, answer a few questions and they're not questions that have necessarily been sent to me recently or by YouTubers as such but I go to chat rooms every day and I um, take Skype calls occasionally from some people so I get asked questions and I've got five, do I have five written down here? One, two, three, four, yeah I have five. So I'm going to uh, answer them for you just so that you hopefully get to know me a little bit better since you have to sit here and look at my terrible horrible ugly face for the next five or ten minutes so are you male or female you tend to get that asked a lot especially in text chat because people can't see but for you guys sitting in front of me you can clearly see and I know some of you have done it that people can make the mistake of thinking I'm male and last time I checked I was female <laughs> so yeah I'm definitely female and if you can't tell that by my voice please get your ears tested uh, so the next question is why do you shave your head I'm not gonna spend time answering that question because there's a video up there that already explains that if you click on my name which is 
Okay, backwards camera here, which is up there somewhere. Click, click that, and you'll um, go to my channel, and you'll find a video called "Bald is Awesome," and that will explain to you why I shave my head. And no, I'm not going to grow my hair. For those of you who wish I would. Uh, next question: Where are you from? Uh, Wales, sort of. Um, yeah, my, I'm originally Welsh. My dad's side of the family are Welsh, so I'm Welsh by origin. But I actually live in England. Uh, I live near Birmingham. I think most of you would know. You, I think most of you would have heard of Birmingham, even if you don't know where it is or have never been there. It's um, it's part of the Midlands. I actually live in the West Midlands. But yeah, near Birmingham, very near Birmingham. Quite like. I can get on a train and be in Birmingham within 15 or 20 minutes, so yeah, that's where I live. Uh, why do you use a wheelchair? I don't know if some of you know or not, I did say last week in my other video that I am a wheelchair user. Why do I use it? I have arthritis and I have uh, another illness called ataxia. The arthritis is in my legs, it's in the base of my spine and I believe I also have it in my neck although that hasn't been confirmed by anyone but you kind of get to know arthritis pain after a while and know that you have it even if a doctor doesn't tell you so that causes loads of pain and I the ataxia is basically an illness that affects your muscles and for me it affects my legs and my ability to coordinate them so although I have use in them they don't go where I want them to, which is not fun if you're trying to walk somewhere. So, for the safety of myself and others, because <laughs> I'm good at walking into things if I try to walk, but yeah, for the safety of myself, I use a chair, especially because of doing things long distance. Long distance walking just wouldn't happen. I can use my legs long enough to stand up and reach something from a high something up there, you know, like a, um, I can't think of the right word, like a cupboard that you would have on your kitchen wall. What is it, an American closet? Cupboard? I, my friend's cabinet. Oh, okay, my friend is on Skype with me again, in case you uh, hadn't realised that. That's why this mic is here. So yeah, kitchen cabinet, if you would want to reach something from there, I can stand up just long enough to do that. But I can't really walk anywhere because it's not safe and it's rather painful. I've been in my chair for five years um, and I wasn't in it 100% of the time to start off with but because the illness progressively gets worse I am now 100% in it and I have been so since 2008. Uh, okay, and the last question is what are your hobbies and interests? Okay, you've heard me speak a lot about learning Dutch. I love learn. I love challenges. I love anything that um, if you come up to me and tell me I can't do something, and I'll prove you wrong. This is why I learned Dutch to begin with. I was um, told by someone to make a long story really short that I couldn't learn it, and I will probably tell you the story at some point. If you want to ask, you can send a comment or a PM, and I will tell it to you. Or maybe I'll tell it to you next week on the next... What are you doing in my scribe? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm being told one minute. So yeah, I like challenges. Anything to do with challenges. Languages, learning Dutch. I like to um, play music, obviously, because you see me do keyboard covers. And I like things to do with computers. I know a lot about computers. So those are basically my hobbies and interests. Okay, guys, it's been fun talking to you, but I'm going to end this video now. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments uh, or send me a personal message. If you like the video, click the like button, which is, where is it? Down there somewhere. Or you can put comments down there. Or there's a subscribe button. Where is it? Up there. So yeah, feel free. Until next week, see ya.